What's up everybody, my name is Brian, and you are watching 7 Days to Brian. Hey folks, welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 21 Let's Play series. Um, it's the beginning of day 7. Uh, I need to get ready for Horde Night, so I think the first thing I'm going to do today is uh, grab some base building supplies here. And uh, I'm going to head out to a spot where I'm going to build myself a little horde base to uh, defend myself. After that, I'll probably do a quest and then make sure that I get back in time to uh, be ready for the horde night before nightfall. I think out here is a likely direction. I want some flat ground. Not necessarily right around any buildings. Yeah, this area is looking good. Cut down some of these trees here. Let's start crafting some wood spikes. Make about a hundred of them. And let's do a layout here. I'll do a five by five column. Gotta upgrade this to concrete as we go. I've been purchasing concrete with my spare cash at the trader throughout the week. Specifically for the uh, purpose of doing this. So we're going to put some bars at the top and we want to rotate them so that they are lined up with the top and provide a flat surface to walk on like this. That way I can stand on the rails and shoot down at the zombies that are coming at me. This will make for a pretty sturdy base. I've done this several times before, just like this. We'll upgrade these to concrete, just like the rest of the base. This can be upgraded to steel at the base, and uh, it could be expanded with more pillars. So, like, say, I'm starting to get to a point where zombies are breaking through this. I can have another one of these bases here, another one back here, and connect them all with the bars at the top and have them act as fallback points for each other so I can just move from one to another as they start getting destroyed and stay uh, safely up above the zombies for the most part. Sometimes uh, when it's getting towards the end, the Horde Knight's starting to wind down. It's fun to jump down and fight them hand to hand, but for the most part, I like to stay up top and shoot. Alright, now we're going to line the bottom with some spike traps, like this. These don't last very long, but they do help take out the first couple waves here. Usually do them at least too deep. Alright, so I, uh, I buried my base three layers deep in wood spikes here. Next, I need to make myself a way to get up onto my base. So I'm going to place just some regular blocks here. With some ramps. Uh, normal ramps. So this is how I'll get over to my base. I'll have to jump. Let's upgrade that to concrete. Alright, so that's the base. I'll jump up here. I'll probably put my sledge turret right down here on the bars so anything that jumps across will get hit by the sledge turret when it jumps over. And I'll be up here with all my guns and ammo. Alright, so now let's go uh, do a quest. Where did I leave my bike? Oh, it's over that way. Oh, you know what? Before I go anywhere, I really need to mark this on my map. I, uh, I don't want to forget where it is. So this is Horde Base. Alright. 
like I said before, I'll keep using that horde base throughout the series. As, uh, as the days go on, I can just expand it if I'm finding it's not strong enough to get through the night. It's just far enough away from my house that I don't have to worry about anything showing up and destroying my house while I'm fighting the horde. See what he was up to today. Well, well, another survivor. I hope you got money. Uh, Hugh, you already know me. I'm not another survivor. I'm the survivor. All right, let's take, let's take a tier three buried supplies. Can you do something for me? Okay, we have a deal. Come back when it's done. I think by making our first job, buried supplies quest, we'll be able to uh, find time to do. Another quest on top of that. Are we done here? Oh, we're done here. Load up on uh, some food ingredients here. Go see his other vending machines and see what I can find. Alright, found some good stuff there. Some bullets, some magazines. It's building supplies. All oh, stuff that'll help me in the long run. Alright, let's go get those buried supplies. This will be my first tier 3 quest. So it'll be uh, a little bit more intense than the previous buried supplies quests that I've done. Hey, what are you doing? I'm gonna stop and get myself some nitrate powder. Later on, when I get a chemistry station going, I want to be able to make lots and lots of gunpowder. That's going to require nitrate powder and coal. I also need nitrate powder to make my farm plots so that I can grow crops. Having all those crops will help me make the higher quality food items that I'm going to want for the end game.
All right, let's see what's in this airdrop. Ooh, we got a guy diluting. We got armor plating mod schematic. We got a coffee, a bacon and eggs, a pistol bundle, and crafting skill magazine bundle. It's all very good stuff. All right, I'm happy about that. Let's go turn in the Buried Supplies quest, and then there should be time for another quest after that. What, you think you're tough? You think you're tough? You want some of this? You want some of this? Come on. Come on. Ah! Gotcha. Sucker. You! Yeah, I know about the dead, Hugh. They're inside your... They're inside your trading post. What are you doing? You're just standing there doing nothing. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. It's like I take care of everything else around here. I don't care what folks say about you in the wasteland. You're almost okay in my book. Okay, I'll take a level 4 military helmet. That sounds good to me. What else you got? Oh, let's do a clear quest. No, we got a fetch quest that's a little closer. Let's do that one. Great. If you're lucky and pull this off, I'll take care of you. Alright, let's get this mining helmet turned into a military helmet here. We'll sell the old mining helmet. Well, it's about time you bought something. I buy things from you all the time, you big idiot. I'm going to trade in my, my level 2 steel knuckles for a level 4 machete. Sell him the knuckles. Those damn things are selling like hotcakes. Nice. Alright. Let's go do that uh, fetch quest for him. Make sure we're back in time for the uh, Fortnite. All right, looks like this is the place. Start the quest. Alright, let's see what we got for loot. Let's check out this reinforced chest first. Alright. All sorts of good stuff in here. We got a weapons bag here. Shotgun weekly, some weapon parts. Let's see what's in the Shamway crates. That one's got peas. This one's got a farming magazine, some cornmeal, and some chicken soup. Oh, we got some aloe cream and a medical journal. That's always good. Uh, some ammo. And some magazines. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright. 
Um, let's wrench that up. Let's get out of here. We'll turn in this quest. And, um... Then we gotta get our weapons together for Horde Night and uh, head out to the Horde base. Drop your weapons or drop your drawers. I don't think I'll be doing either of those things, Hugh. Alright, let's get out there to that Horde base before it gets too late. We are cutting it kind of close today. That's alright, that just means I've made good use of my time. All right, uh, I gotta put uh, oh, this guy here. That's gonna be there to hit anybody that decides to jump over here. And let's put a couple of mines down. One there, one there, one there. I gotta be careful not to be too close to that mine when somebody triggers it. So we're all equipped. Got my stun baton and my machete in case somebody actually jumps up here and makes it and I have to fight them hand to hand. I got the shotgun with both uh, slugs and shotgun shells. I got the pistol. I got the taser. I got the desert vulture. Uh, we got the M60, sniper rifle, loaded with AP ammo, and we got a grenade launcher. We'll see how this goes. Here we go, it's just about time to get started.
Was that it? Did I survive this thing? I think so. I'm gonna go around and get this loot before it starts disappearing on me. I'm not even gonna look at it, I'm just gonna grab it all as quick as I can. Look at it all when we're done grabbing it. Oh, there's one more over there. Alright. Drop up these bodies. Alright, let's see what we got. I got a whole bunch of brass guy diluting. Reading those increases my uh, Lucky Looter perk. Got an explosive magazine, armored up. Oh, there's a treasure map. Nice. Uh, vehicle magazine, bow hunter magazine. Got some fort bites. A whole bunch of good stuff. You can see what I have here. Some cash, steroids. Very good. All right, so let's make our way back to the base. Alright, now that the Horde Knight's over, I should be safe to spend the night going through loot and uh, doing some crafting, so I'm going to say this is it for this video. Thanks for joining me. If you want to see more of my videos in the future, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.